Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, um, a short while ago we did a video on LXC containers, so how we how you can provision your Kubernetes cluster using LXC containers. So basically you're running your master node and worker nodes in LXC containers. So if I go to the browser and search for just me LXC Kubernetes. So this video here, Cube30 deploying Kubernetes cluster using LXC containers, which I did not shot a while ago, it's about a year ago, 12 months ago, okay. So we have that video, we did that video, and uh, using LXC containers we deployed, we provisioned Kubernetes cluster. And there was one problem which I faced, and a lot of you might have faced that same problem. So when you deploy your cluster, and if you want to uh, basically for my purpose, I don't generally uh, stop and restart the cluster. I just destroy the cluster and whenever I want it, I just uh, spin up a new cluster. But few people, few users, <coughs> excuse me, few viewers uh, who are using this setup, uh, they were finding it uh, hard to restart the cluster once they shut down their machine. So they've got their workstation, they, are, they have their LXE containers running as Kubernetes worker nodes. And uh, when they stop the containers, shut down the machine, and then when they bring up the machine back, start the LXE containers, the Kubernetes cluster is basically broken. It doesn't start the overlay network, it doesn't start the container networking, and basically the kubelet service fails to start and so on. Um, so there's a fix for that, um, which I've been trying to uh, do a video on that, but um, fortunately one of the viewer uh, submitted a pull request, um, so which I'm gonna test in this video. So hopefully that will help you Okay, so if I go to my browser, so that's my uh, GitHub repository for Kubernetes. And if I go to pull requests, um, update bootstrap cube.shell. And uh, the pull request was submitted by this uh, guy, Gustavo Monti. Not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but apologies if I'm not. Okay, so what did he do? Files change, he just added these two lines here. Um, so let's see if it works. Okay, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go through the same video, uh, this Cube30 video, but I'm gonna go through that very quickly to see, uh, to show you how it's actually broken and then let's uh, merge his pull request and then see if it fixes the issue. Okay, so LXE list, I don't have any LXE machines at the moment, LXE containers. So let's uh, clone our GitHub repository, git clone, Kubernetes CD to Kubernetes and then CD to LXD provisioning. So we have our bootstrap cube dot shell, uh, which I'm going to use now. And I've already got my K8 test profile LXC profile list. So I've got K8 test profile, which I'm going to use. So let's launch one master and one worker node. LXC launch image. I'm using CentOS 7 and naming the container KMaster and I'm using the profile k okay? Okay, so the container started and now let's uh, spin up a worker node. Another container called kworker2, sorry, kworker1. Again, I'm using the same image CentOS 7. All right, so we have the two containers running. If I do LXC list, there you go, so kmaster and kworker1. So now I'm going to bootstrap these two containers, bootstrap cube shell. And first thing is uh, I'm going to bootstrap the master node. So cat bootstrap cube dot shell, pipe that to LXC exec, kmaster bash. So that's going to bootstrap our kmaster, install all the required components and so on. And then we will do the uh, kworker. All right, um, I ran the script on the kmaster, so now let's bootstrap uh, the kworker. So the same command, cat bootstrap cube.shell. This time you're gonna use the uh, the worker node container, kworker1. All right, uh, the bootstrap script uh, ran successfully. So now um, what I need to do is I need to copy the cube config file from the master, from the master machine to my host machine. So I'm gonna make a directory under my home directory called .cube and I'm going to copy. For that I need to know the IP address of my master node. So if I do LXE list, um, ETH0, so that's the IP address of my master node, kmaster. 
copy that and I'm doing SCP root at colon etc kubernetes admin dot conf copying that to dot cube directory slash config and the password is cube admin all right so that's done if I do cube ctl get notes cool version 1.17.1 both of them are ready so we've got kmaster and kworker1 cool and if I do lxe list um, soon you will see the cni interface uh, here as well but uh, so we've got the flannel overlay network running on both these containers kmaster and kworker1 we've got the docker internal network okay let's try and uh, create an nginx application kubectl run nginx minus minus image nginx kubectl get pods okay so the container is getting created if i do kubectl get pods minus o wide and you can see here it's uh getting launched in kworker1 so that's fine lxe list so now you can see here we've got cni network the flannel network on both these nodes kmaster and kworker1 kubectl get pods cool so that's all running fine so Assume that now I want to stop these containers and I want to shut down my laptop um, and then I need to relaunch this again. So this is where the problem is. So now if you stop these containers, cluster nodes, Kubernetes cluster nodes, and when you try to restart them uh, or bring them up again, it will have some problems bringing up the, uh, the overlay networks. And basically the kubelet service in these nodes um, will be failing will fail to start let's let's try that okay so assume that I'm shutting down my laptop so LXC stop I'm stopping these containers K worker 1 and K master all right the containers should be stopped now if I do LXC list you can see here K master and K worker 1 sorry K worker 1 yeah K worker 1 are stopped now so now let let's try and start these containers okay LXC start K master and LXE start K worker. Okay, so we've started these containers and if I do LXE list, you can see here the only two networks are the Docker network and the Ethernet network. So there's something clearly wrong here. You don't see the overlay network, the flannel overlay network and the CNI network and the LXE list. Let's wait for a few more minutes. I'm gonna wait for a couple more minutes to see if it comes up, but I'm sure it won't come up because I've tried many times LXE list. Okay, while it while it while we are waiting for this, let's log into the one of the nodes. Let's log into the master node and see what's going on. LXE exec k master bash. Okay, system CTL status kubelet. I'm verifying the status of the kubelet service. You can see here exited and the kubelet service is not running. Okay, uh, kubelet service entered failed state. Okay, so let's take a look at the log file journal ctl minus f minus minus unit kubelet connection refused okay it keeps failing it keeps trying uh, it keeps restarting the service but eventually it won't come up it keeps failing okay so for some reason it keeps failing all right so we are sure that it's not going to work even if you wait for wait for a while it won't come up the flannel network uh, the cluster components are completely broken so it won't work so this is where I need to test the uh, the pull request submitted by the uh, uh, by the user by that viewer so let's try this so before that let's destroy our containers first and let's do all these from scratch but with a new bootstrap script uh, with the fix in it okay so LXC delete I'm deleting both the uh, nodes both the containers Okay, deleted LXE list. I don't have anything. So now I'm going to copy just these two lines. First, let's verify before merging this pull request. Control C and edit bootstrap cube.shell and it's next to this line. Okay, so let's paste that. And now let's do the same uh, testing again LXE launch. Game master first. K master. All right. So now let's launch the worker node. K worker one. K worker one. All right. The containers have been created. If I do LXE list, so we have these two containers. Now let's run the Bootstrap script. Cat Bootstrap. 
and let's uh, start with the master node k master okay so let's run this okay so master node done let's go on to the worker node k worker one all right the command completed so it's a brand new cluster we again need to copy the cube configuration file so lxc list and that's the ip address of the master node copy that and do scp root at colon etc kubernetes admin.conf2 dot cube config cube admin okay cube ctl get notes everything is in the ready state let's uh, deploy the nginx application cube ctl run nginx minus minus image nginx cube ctl get pods cube ctl get pods minus o wide again running on k worker one cool cube ctl get pods the status is running lxe list so you can see here the container uh, cni flannel overlay network docker network everything is running fine cube ctl get pods our pod is running fine so now let's do the same testing again let's stop the containers and restart the cluster and see if it comes up okay so lxe stop k worker one and k master okay the containers are stopped alexi list and you can see the containers are stopped let's start the container again alexi start k master and alexi start k worker one okay so i've started the containers if i do alexi list uh, you can see here it has the cni and the flannel overlay network okay cube ctl get nodes sorry cube ctl get nodes yep you can access the cluster kubectl get all and you can see here our nginx pod is also running so there you go so you've got your cluster that you can stop and start at any time you've got a working kubernetes cluster in uh LXC containers okay so so now that we have verified uh that it's working i'm going to merge this pull request thank you so much gusto monty sorry gustavo monty okay merge the pull request confirm merge okay that's all done and dusted so i've got one more pull request which i haven't verified okay cool that's all i wanted to show you in this video hopefully you found this video useful please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel um if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye